Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to the nightcap of day three of the round robin of the 2022 MLB Power Pros World Power Pro Partner Tournament between the Fantasy Jump and the Z Squad. Fantasy Jump, the home team, coming into this one at 0 and 2. Z Squad coming into this one at 2 and 0. It'll be Hoshi getting the start today, the right-hander for Fantasy Jump. Trying to pitch their team to their first win of the tournament. First pitch on the way from Hoshi. And it's a hard sinker missing inside for ball one. Zippy coming into this one batting 167 for the Z squad. Zippy one for six with a couple of walks in this tournament. Change up, grounded softly in second. Nishida over to first. One up, one down. So I'll bring up the center fielder, Zakian. First pitch, and there's the high effort faster ball. Missing low, one and up. 1 0 pitch, change up, swung on and missed. 1 and 1. Yep, you came back just in time for game number three of the evening. There's the faster ball missing high and away, 2 and 1. Zakian batting 3 for 8 in this tourney with a run scored, as well as a triple as he flies that one out in the left. So I'll bring up the DH Ziamoto. Batting 26 so far with a homer, and he grounds the first pitch to second. And an easy 1 2 3 inning for Hoshi. So we head to the bottom of the first. Fancy Jump will get their first licks. It'll be Zaffer on the mound for the Z Squad in this one. First time we have seen him in this one in this tournament. First pitch on the way to Hermes. Swung on and missed. 0 oh 1. Hermes batting 375 in this tournament. 3 for 8. With the leadoff homer of the tournament. The only homer in RBI to his credit. Split finger misses high. 2 and 1. 2 1 pitch on the way. And there's a big curveball there at 120 kilometers per hour. Finding the strike zone. 2 and 2. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike three. There's the first strike out of the game for Zaffer. And I'll bring up the DH Steel. Steel flies that one left side foul. Steel's been much maligned in the fantasy jump lineup as he has been struggling a lot. 0 for 5. Has three walks though in this one. Two strikeouts. 2 1 pitch. Ground ball up the middle. It gets past the shortstop. Zane for a base hit. So Steele gets his first hit of the tournament. And that's a relief, but then he gets caught stealing on the first pitch to guts. So two gone now. As quick as he gets on base, he is quickly erased. 1-1 one, one to guts on the way. 2-1 is low. So Guts coming into this one, bang two for eight with a double in his first two games. Swings and misses that one, two and two. Two, two pitch and the curveball misses outside, three and two. Full count on the way to Guts. Swing a high fly ball. Right center field, zippy back, and that one is gone! Ball go far for Guts! And Fantasy Jump on the board early. 1-0 the score. That was a fastball from Zaffer. He deposits that one into right center field. Right center field has been a hot spot for homers today. In today's action, I'll bring up Thor. Swing and a missed strike one on the sinker. So Thor coming in this one, batting one for six with a homer. And the curveball missing low, one and one. A lot of the, ma the managers for the Z's, for the uh, for fantasy jump, if only Steele didn't get thrown out, that would have been two. Split finger misses high and away, two, two. The count and the pitch. Curveball missing outside, and the count goes full on Thor. Pitch on the way from Zaffer, and that one's driven in the left center field. That one's fairly deep. Zelke back, 
to the track to make the play. Four gave that one a bit of a ride, but not enough. Guts gained the homer, one nothing the score. So it'll be Zeus leading off for the Z Squad here in the top of the second. Zeus coming into this one batting 143, one for seven with a walk. His first two games. 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss at the changeup. And the count goes quickly 0-2. Hoshi's 0-2, missing with the sinker 1-2. 1-2 on the way, and the faster ball misses low. Count goes even, 2-2 two two on Zeus. Popped up, and that will go foul into the stands. 2-2 two two on the way, and that one's going to be foul down off. Count 2-2, two two, the pitch on the way. Popped up again, and this one will stay in play. Guts is there, and he'll make the play to get the first out of here. So I'll bring up the left fielder, Zelke. Zelke hitting 375, three for eight in the tournament so far. All singles. Faster ball misses inside, one and one the count. On one ground ball, the second Nishida. Over to first, two ball. So I'll bring up the catcher, Zamazenta. First pitch on the way, and that one's popped up in the left field. Inakai there. And the side is retired. Bomb second we go. One nothing the score. Inakai will lead things off for Fancy Jump, and I neglected to take a look at the lineup for Fancy Jump coming into this one. So leading off was Hermes in center field, S contact, A power, S run speed, and A defense in the outfield. Then Steel, the DH, S contact, S power, S run speed at the DH position. Then it was Guts at catcher, A contact, S power, C run speed, S arm, and A fielding. Followed by Thor, the first baseman, A contact, S power, C run speed, and C fielding. Over at first. Now to play Zenakai, the left fielder, A contact, S power, B run speed, and C fielding in the outfield. Bang six will be Nickel, the third baseman, A contact, A power, B run speed, and C fielding over at third. Bang 7th is the 2nd baseman, Nishida. A contact, C powers, S run speed, and S fielding at 2nd. Bell Muse will be the right fielder today, batting 8th. B contact, C power, S run speed, B arm, and A fielding in the outfield. And finally, Loki the shortstop with B contact, E power, S run speed, and S defense over at short. So Inakai will lead things off against Zaffer here in the bottom of the 2nd. And the first pitch fouled off into the stands. Inakai does not have a hit yet in this tournament. In seven at-bats. Split finger misses low. One and two. Tried to get him to chase on that, but nothing doing. One, two. Curve ball. Just misses a bit inside. And the count goes even. Two and two. Two, two. And that one's in the left field. But Zelke is going to be right there. One gone. One gone here in the seven, second, and that will bring up Nickel. Nickel so far batting two for seven. 286 average, no homers, no RBI. 1-0 pitch, and the fastball misses inside, and the count goes 2-0. 3-0 now, and Zaffer in danger of walking the third baseman. Swing and a miss at a fastball, 3-1. and one. And hello, kidneys, good to see you. 3-1 pitch to Nickel. Big swing and miss there at the split finger. And the count goes full. Talked with Nickel before the game. He was motivated. He was ready to go. And he grounds this one to short. Zane over to Zeus for out number two. 6-3 in the scorebook. And now bring up the second baseman, Nishida. Nishida so far in seven at-bats has not gotten a hit. 1-0 pitch, and that one swung on, missed at the sinker, and the count goes 1-1. One 1-1 one. One, one on the way, and that one's popped up. Infield, Zane. Has it, and now retire the side. 1-2-3 goes fantasy jump. In the bottom of the second, we head to the third. 1-0 the score. 
Also hoping, hopefully you're having a good day so far, kid. And he's good to see you here. Zorn, the second baseman, will lead off for the Z Squad. Number seven, eight, nine hitters due up for the away team. Here in the top of the third, and there's the faster ball swung on and missed by Zorn. Count quickly 0 and 1. Zorn so far one of the one of the better hitters in the Z Squad lineup, hitting 429. 3 for 7 with a homer and an RBI. That's been a day. Yeah, I know the feeling, man. 1 2 pitch to Zorn, and that one's popped up. Hoshi is right there, and he'll make the play. One go. Next batter will be the shortstop, Zane. His first official at-bat of the tournament coming off the bench for the Z-Squad. 1-0 pitch, and that one's low. 2-0. Zane, a very good defender, and that's his main calling card. Hitting not exactly his strong suit. 2-1 pitch. Faster ball misses outside, three and one. However, Zane does have the artist in fearful grand slam ability, so he could make an impact as he floats that one in the right field for a one out single. First hit of the game for the Z squad. ZD, the third baseman now up. Batting 167, one for six in the tournament so far in two games. 1-1 one, one pitch, and that one's low at the faster ball. Count goes 2-1. and one. Change up outside, 3-1. Three 3-1 and one. Three, one pitch, and that one is popped up. Deep into left field, sending Inakai to the wall, making the catch. Zidi just didn't get enough of it. A little bit of better contact, and that could have been gone or at least off the wall. So I'll bring up Zippy, the right fielder. 0 for 1 today. Round out to second, back in the first. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss at the faster ball. And the count goes 1-2. and two. Pitch on the way, change up, misses. 2-2. Two and two. Faster ball misses high, 3-2. and two. Zane will be off with this pitch. There he goes, and that one's fouled off. Count remains three and two. A swing and a miss, strike three. Zippy strikes out to end the third, and we head to the bottom of the inning. One nothing, fancy jump on top. He'll be the right fielder, Bell Muse, leading things off for fancy jump here in the bottom of the third. First pitch splitter misses outside, one and up. Bell Muse coming to this one does not have a hit in the tourney in seven at-bats. <clears throat> I'm sorry, three at-bats, I should say. Count goes two and one, the pitch from Zaffrey. Zaffrey on the way. Ooh, way early on that splitter. And the count goes even, two and two. Pitch on the way, ground ball, chop the fit. Z. On a couple hops, over to first. One up, one down. So I'll bring up the shortstop, Loki. Coming into this one, batting 0 for 6 in two games. Rounds that one to short. Zay over to first. One pitch. Two outs. Now bring up Hermes. First pitch to the center fielder, Hermes, low with the curveball, 1 0. Hermes struck out his first time up, back in the first. Splitter, low, 2 0. 2-0 pitch, and that one finds the strike zone with the curveball, 2-1. and one. Yep, the game does have those kind of animations. They are very, very um, intricate, I guess we could say. 3-1 to Hermes, and that one's popped up, and I'll go foul. Talk with Hermes before the game on why he does that. He says, because it is damn cool. And you know what else is damn cool? Hitting a two-out double like he's going to do here. So runner in scoring position with two outs for Steele. First pitch. And that one's a pickoff attempt, nothing doing. So here's Steele. Singled his first time up back in the first, but then was immediately caught stealing. And that one is driven in the right field. Zippy is there. And that will retire the side. Fancy jump gets a runner to second, but do not score. Still one nothing to score. Zakian, the center fielder, 
The lead off for the Z squad here in the top of the fourth. Back in 0 for 1, a fly out to left. First time up back in the first. Oshie misses with his first two, and the count's 2 0. Sinker finds the strike zone, 2 and 1. 2 1 on the way from Hoshi. Big change up there, 2 and 2 the count. Looking to strike out Zaki in here, get his second K, but the hard sinker misses inside, full count. Pitch on the way, swing and a miss at the faster ball. One gone here in the fourth. So there's strikeout number two from Hoshi as Ziyamoto comes to the plate. Ground out to second his first time up, back in the first. Count quickly 2 0 on Ziyamoto. Pitch on the way, and the sinker, big swing and miss there. And the count goes 2 and 1. Oshi's 2 1, and that one's fouled off on the faster ball. That'll be a souvenir. 2 2, and the hard sinker misses outside. And the count goes full. And Ziyamoto grounds that change up over to first floor. We'll take a couple steps and take it to the bag himself for out number two. So I'll bring Zeus back to the plate here in the fourth. Flew out to the catcher back in the second. First pitch on the way from Hoshi. Change ups. Well, I missed 0 1. Hoshi, big change up right there. Has used it quite a bit to keep these hitters off guard. And there's another one swung out and missed 0 and 2. Another change up. That's three straight change ups. Missing 1 and 2. There's the faster ball, and oh my goodness. Now that's how you pitch. Two strikeouts in three at-bats in the inning. Bomb four coming up. It'll be Guts leading things off here in the bottom of the fourth for Fancy Jump. Has the lone run of the game so far. The solo homer back in the first off of Zaffer. 0-1 pitch. Fastball missing high and away. One and one. Guts Homer going to right center field. Very, very far home run. 1-2 pitch to Guts and the high effort fastball misses high. 2-2, two, two, count goes even. Pitch on the way, splitter. Misses high. Full count now on Guts. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout of the game for Zaffer. And comes at the expense of Guts. Thor now up. He is 0 for 1 with a fly out to left his first time up. And the count quickly now. 0 and 2 on Thor. Pitch on the way. And the count goes 1 and 2. Swing in the mid strike 3. And that's two strikeouts to start the inning for Zaffer. So I'll bring up the left fielder Inakai. Flew out to left his first time up, back in the second. 1-0 pitch, curveball settles in the strike zone. Count evens up at 1-1. One 1-1, one. One one, the fastball low, 2-1. Curveball, big swing and miss, way out in front of that. Nikai's still looking for his first hit in his ninth official at-bat here. Count goes full, the pitch on the way. And that one is popped up. Into left center field, Zekian there for the out. And Fantasy Jump goes one, two, three. Top five coming up, one nothing, Fantasy Jump. Zelki will lead things off here in the top of the fifth for the Z squad, change up missing low, one and up. Zelki rounded out to second, first time up, back in the second. As he swings and misses at the hard sinker. Count goes one and one. Minor. Ooh, big, big foul ball into the stands. Count one and two. Change up way inside, and the count goes even. Two and two. Pitch on the way. That one's line foul. Two, two, the count and the pitch. Change up way up and in on the Zelke. And now a big at-bat here, big pitch here. 
And the faster ball. Oh, we were just looking at that thing for strike three. Another faster ball swung on miss by Zamazenta now with one out. Oh, one. Change up misses just a bit outside. Guts tried to frame it, but nothing doing. Faster ball swung on and missed there, and now the count goes one and two on Zamazenta. One, two. Ground ball to first. Four to first. Two gone here in the fifth. So I'll bring up Zorn, flew out to the pitcher. His first time up back in the third, and I actually let off the third. That brings his average down just a tad from that 429 mark. First pitch, change up, misses high, one and up. Big swing and miss there at the changeup. One and one on Zorn. The wind and the one one. Hard sinker. That one's blasted foul on the right side. Try to go opposite field. One two pitch. Hard sinker misses two and two. Two two from Hoshi. Popped up. Right field deep ish. Bell Muse there. And that will retire the side. Strikeout in a couple of fielding outs. We head to the bottom of the fifth. One, nothing to score. Nickel, the third baseman, will lead things off for a fancy jump here in the bottom of the fifth. Fancy jump up one, nothing on the first inning homer by Guts. He only runs so far in this one. One, one on the way from Zaffer. Big swing and miss at the curve, one and two. Zaffer looking for strikeout number four. Can he get it here? Just missed a bit low. Two and two. Curveball missing just a bit outside. And the count goes full on Nickel. Nickel 0 for 1. A ground out to short first time up. And that's a ground out to set. One up, one down here in the bottom of the fifth. And they'll bring up Nishida, the second baseman. Flew out to short first time up. First pitch fastball just a bit outside. One and up. 1-0 pitch and another fastball missing outside, 2-0. Hey! Take a look at the pitch count for Zaffer. Now at 73 pitches so far. Fairly even-ish between strikes and balls. 39 strikes, 34 balls so far for Zaffer. 2-0 pitch on the way and that one's foul off. These are still looking for their first hit and there it is, a base hit up the middle. So Nishida finally in the hit column after eight at-bats, now batting one for nine. Congratulations there, Nishida. And I'll bring up the right fielder, Bellmuse. First pitch on the way, fastball way high and outside, maybe anticipating Nishida running. Count goes one and up. Another pitch high, two and up. They're really thinking Nishida is gonna run, and now the count quickly three and up on Bellmuse. Curveball, ground ball, right side, base hit. Stopping at second is Nisha. And now all of a sudden, couple hits in a row. And a runner in scoring position with one out. Good throw there by the right fielder Zippy to keep the runners held. So I'll bring up Loki. First pitch, 1-0. Loki still looking for his first hit. In his eighth try now. Ground ball, left side. Oh, what a diving stop by Zini from his knees. Darn near lying down makes the play. Holy cats. What a play by Zini. 5 3 in the scorebooks, but it was a little more than 5 3 on the field. Holy cats. So the runners advance to second and third. What a play there. I think we need to see that again. That's what we call a web gem in the business. Had to do a couple hops, but, you know, you try throwing from your knees and see if you throw it on a couple of hops. But now it's up to Hermes. One for two with a double back in the third. First pitch on the way. Big swing and miss at 147 kilometer per hour fastball. 0-1 pitch popped up left center. Should end the inning. Zelke calling off Zakian. Makes the catch. And after that phenomenal play by Zidi, 
And they pop up there. The inning comes to an end. Sixth inning coming up. One up. First pitch. 1-0 on Zane. Zane one for one. A single back in the sixth. And Hoshi misses again. Two and up. Oh. Give positive feedback button. I have never seen that before, kidneys. You'll have to give me a... Uh, Give me a screenshot or something. 2-1 pitch, misses outside. 3-1. and 3-1 one. One pitch, big swing and miss there by Zayn. The count goes full. Zayn looking to be a spark plug for this Z-Squad offense. Swings and misses for strike three. Strikeout number five on the day for Hoshi. Sobbing up the third baseman, Zidi. Throw out to left, first time up, back in the third. That one's grounded to second. Nishida over the first. Two up, two down. I'm going to get back to the top of the order for Zippy. 0 for 2 so far. First pitch swung on missed 0 and 1. Hoshi now through 5 and 2 thirds at 80 pitches with 47 strikes and 33 balls. Fairly decent pitch count at this time of day. 0-1 pitch on the way from Hoshi, and the sinker misses outside, 1-1. One 1-1, one. One, one, big swing and miss, 1-2. One 1-2, two. One, two. swing and a miss, strike three. And that will end the inning. Hoshi with his sixth strikeout through six innings. Bottom six coming up. First pitch on the way from Zephyr to Steele to start off the bottom of the sixth, and that misses 1-0. Oh. It's been a bit of a pitcher's duel here at the Pepe Dome between Zephyr and Hoshi. And that one's in the left field, and that will go foul. 1-2, the pitch to Steele, low with the splitter. 2-2. Two and two. 2-2 two, two on steel, and that one's popped up in the center. Zekia is there. One go. Slobbering up Guts, the catcher. Uh, still has the lone run in this game. The solo homer back in the first off of Zaffer. Been the only blemish on the scoreboard for either team so far. 0-1 pitch from Zaffer. Splitter misses outside. 1-1. One and one. Big swing and miss the curve. One, two. The one, two on the way from Zaffer. High effort fastball misses. Two and two. Two, two on the way. Chopper up the middle. Zane over to first in time for out number two. That'll be a 6-3 in the scorebook. We head to four now. Four is 0 for 2. Fly out to left in a strikeout so far today. 0 on pitch, and Zaffer just misses. 1 1 the count. Sinker. Ooh, just missed a bit outside. 2 and 1. Zaffer wanted that one. And the curveball misses low. Count goes 3 and 1 on Thor. Swing and a miss. Count goes full. Can Thor do something here for Fantasy Jump? And he drives this one in the center field fairly deep. Zakian there. And that will retire the side. To the seventh we go. Fantasy Jump up 1-0. Zakian will lead things off against Hoshi here in the top of the seventh. First pitch, faster ball. Mm -hmm. finds, a, finds a stand. Second pitch, faster ball. We'll find the glove of the first baseman, Thor. One gone here in the seventh. Two pitches in, and we have our first out of the inning. That'll bring up Ziamoto. First pitch changeup, missing low, 1 0. Ziamoto 0 for 2 in this one. A ground out to second, and a ground out to first in his repertoire today. 1 1 pitch. And that one misses inside, 2 and 1. 2-1 from Hoshi. Swing and a miss. 2-2. Two two. Can Hoshi get seven strikeouts tonight? Can he do it? 
change up. This is a little bit outside. Full count now on Ziyamoto. And that's inside for ball four. So the first walk issued in this game. Now bring up the first baseman, Zeus. Runner on first and one out. He is 0 for 2 in this one. A pop up to the catcher. And a strikeout looking back in the fourth. 1-0 pitch. Ground ball sharply foul. 1-1 pitch. Swing. And a miss 1-2. Hoshi's 1-2, pickoff attempt, nothing there. 1-2, sinker misses low, count even up, 2-2. Two two. So in the ground ball, third, could be two. Nickel, to Nishida, to Thor for the 5-4-3. Round the horn, double play, to end the inning. Just what fantasy jump wanted to get in that situation. Stretch time at the Pay Pay Dome. And the balloons, they be flying. Fancy jump up, one nothing. So it'll be re roll two coming into pitch for the Z squad. So Zaffer is now done in this one. So we take a look at the final line for Zaffer in this one. Going six innings, giving up just the one run. Three strikeouts, no walks on five hits in 99 pitches. So let's take a look at the Sky Report for re-roll two coming into this one. And for re-roll two, this will be their second straight appearance. So re-roll two will not be available next week so reroll two comes into this one with a 152 kilometer per hour fastball b control and d stamina as a level three cutter a level five drop curve any level three fork ball has the indomitable soul gold ability fastball life a sharp ball gyro ball guts versus smasher emergency pitching stable ball speed strong starter or strong finisher hang on is that strong finish or strong start? Either way, strong something. And ground ball pitcher. So first batter that reroll two will face here in the bottom of the seventh will be Inakai. Over two in this one. A fly out to left and a fly out to center today. First pitch fastball misses low and in way one and up. Big drop curve there, and that one finds the strike zone one and one. The one one to Inakai. So we're gonna line drive, caught by Zeus. Two has strong starter. Okay, perfect, thank you. Ground ball fouled by Nickel. One one on the way from reroll two. Fastball misses two and one. Two one pitch on the way. And that one misses low at the fork ball. Count goes three and one. Ground ball third. Z. Over to first. Two up, two down. So I'll bring up the second baseman, Nishida. Single their last time up back in the fifth. That was Nishida's first hit of the tournament. That one's grounded up the middle for a base hit. So there's the second hit of the game for Nishida. And boy, did they need that. First couple hits of the tourney, that'll get your batting average up a little bit. So I'll bring up Bell Muse, the right fielder. One for two, a single back in the fifth. Came right after Nishida's hit in the fifth. Ground ball up the middle zone. Over to first, and now retired side. So we head to the eighth inning. Fancy jump up one to nothing. And it will be Hoshi coming back out there for the eighth. First pitch hard sinker missing low and in, one and up. Hoshi not looking too terrible right now in the pitch count department. 97 pitches, 56 strikes, and 41 balls so far. Six strikeouts for the right-hander. Some very good stuff today. 
two of those strikeouts looking. Those are to Zeus and Zelke in the fourth and fifth. The rest swinging. The 1 0 misses outside. 2 0 on Zelke. Zelke in this one, 0 for 2. Was one of those looking strikeout victims. And that one's driven in the right, but Bellmuse on the track. Makes the play, one gone. Coming up, the catcher, Zamazenta. First pitch, strike going one. 0 oh, 1 on the way from Hoshi. Faster ball misses inside. Oh, he was that one. 1 1 the count. Change up. Ground ball is short. Loki. Oh, we're the first. Two gone. Two up, two down. And this has been a really good pitching outing for Hoshi so far today. Has gotten strikeouts when he needs them. Has only allowed two base runners in this one. The single to Zane in the third. And the walk to Zeus in the seventh. And that one has popped up to short. Loki is there. And the side is retired. To the bottom of the eighth we go. Fancy jump. Looking for some insurance. Loki, Hermes Steel, do it. New pitcher coming in for the Z Squad. It will be re-roll one. First time we've seen them in the tourney, and we are going to get a pinch hitter for Loki here in the bottom of the eighth. So it's going to be Earl to pinch hit for Loki here in the bottom of the eighth. Take a look at the final line for re-roll two. Went one inning, giving up just the one hit and nothing else of real note on 12 pitches. So we re-rolled one coming in for his first for his first appearance in the tournament. Comes in with a 145 kilometer per hour fastball. S control in the stamina. Has a level 6 drop curve and a level 5 vertical slider. As versus lefty A, indomitable soul, strikeout versus smasher, stable ball speed versus runner, and the natural shooto. Blue ability. First batter he'll face is the pinch hitter Earl. Earl has right now three trajectory S contact, S power, S run speed. And G's the rest of the way, so he is strictly a pinch hitter here for the shortstop Loki, who has just had no luck at the plate so far in this tournament. So you're probably likely to see Corcus come in to play short in the top of the ninth in place of Loki. First pitch drop curve in there for strike one. Both of these players at the... Uh, both these players right now making their first appearance in the tournament. 1-1 one, one to Earl. And the vertical slider misses low. Count goes 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one, and the vertical slider misses 3-1. and one. So re-roll 1. Gets this one. It'll be chopped right back to the mound and he'll flip the first. One up here in the top. Here in the bottom of the eight. So I'll bring up the center fielder Hermes and he gets this one to chop the second. Zorn on the bare hand. Gets the throw over the first in time. Two gone, that'll bring up Steel. First pitch, vertical slider finds the strike zone 0 1. Drop curve, ground ball to second and an easy one, two, three, eighth inning for re roll one. To the top of the ninth, final call for the Z Squad. 1 0 the score. So Corcus will come in to play shortstop and we will have a pinch hitter coming in for the Z squad in place of Zane. It will be Zap to pinch hit. So Zap coming in to pinch hit. Looks a little something like this. Has four trajectory, S contact, S power, S run speed, and nothing else really of note to note about. First pitch on the way from Hoshi, trying to go for a complete game here tonight. And the count goes 1-0. Missing with the faster ball. Change up, missing outside, and the count goes 2-0. Hoshi at 105 pitches, 60 strikes to 45 balls. 2-0. Fouled off. 
2-1. The count and the pitch. Faster ball lined into left field, but Inakai is right there. One gone here in the ninth. It's all being up Zidi, the third baseman. First pitch on the way from Hoshi. Ground ball foul to the right side. Count and the pitch. Hard sinker low, one in one. One one on the way, change up, finds the bottom edge of the strike zone, one and two. Pitch on the way, popped up. Gonna be playable, guts against the wall, makes the play. Two gone, here in the ninth, last call. Last chance for the Z squad here, Zippy. First pitch, 0-1. Oh Oh, she's 0-1. Hard sinker misses outside, 1-1. 1-1, one and, one. One, one, and another hard sinker misses low, 2-1. and one. Hoshi, one batter away from a shutout, swing and miss at the faster ball, 2-2. Two and two. The pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike three! And it's a shutout for Hoshi! And Fantasy Jump get their first win of the tournament. 1-0, the final score. Your players of the game, Hoshi, giving up just one hit in this game. One hit and one walk. That's all he gave up in this one against the Z Squad. Meanwhile, Guts, the lone run of the game, the solo homer in the first to give Fancy Jump the 1 0 lead and the win. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from today's game. We start with that Guts homer in the first inning off of Zaffer, and that was all they needed today. But there were some opportunities. And that's literally the only highlight of the game. That is literally the only highlight of the game, folks. That they deemed worthy. Wow. So look at the line score for this one. Hoshi giving up just two base runners in the entire game. The single to Zane in the third. The walk to to Ziyamoto in the seventh, which was quickly erased by the 5-4-3. The Z-Squad only, they had just 28 batters come to the plate. So Hoshi gets the win, Zaffer the loss, Guts with the lone homer of the ball game. Take a look at the final box score for today. No hits for Zippy, Zaki, and Ziyamoto, Zeus, Zelki, Zamazenta, Zorn, Zap, Zini, but the lone hit going to Zane. Seven strikeouts on the day. Ziyamoto got a walk as well. Zeus grounded into a double play. Zaffer went six innings, giving up five hits, one run, three strikeouts, and no walks. The homer by Guts, the only blemish on the record, and 99 pitches. Reroll two going an inning. On 12 pitches, giving up just the one hit, and re-roll one on just eight pitches, a clean ninth inning. Or at least an eighth. For Fantasy Jump, it looks a little something like this. Hermes going one for four with a double and a strikeout. Steel one for four. Guts one for three with the solo homer. Thor going 0 for three with a strikeout. Inakai 0 for three. Nickel 0 for three. Nishida 2 for three. Bellmuse 1 for three. And Loki 0 for 2, Earl going 0 for 1, and Corcus not getting an at-bat. And meanwhile for Hoshi, he went the distance today, giving up just one hit, one walk, seven strikeouts, no runs on 116 pitches. Some dominant pitching performances today. Here in Game 3, here in Day 3 of the 2022 MLB Power Pros World Power Pro Partner Tournament, Z-Squad goes to 2-1, Fancy Jump to 1-2.